hello friends today in this video I'm going to share uh, I'd already made a video uh, many days uh, ago on geranium but I have not made that video in Bengali this video will be in English so uh, you can see the lovely beautiful flowers of uh, geranium it's really beautiful so you can see in one <coughs> plant there is here I have four stalks and many birds are also there and here I have having two stalks at the time but many birds are also there so how to care these beautiful uh, geraniums you can see how lovely the flowers are and today is uh, 13th of March and uh, you can see in this hot weather also it is blooming well although it is a flower of winter so geraniums are grown from seed that is the first point and I had not uh, grown it from seed I had bought uh, seedlings of uh, this size and had cared them I think I have one two three four five six seven plants uh, of geranium you can see uh, the color variations uh, this is pink that is white this is the beautiful red again here is white pure white and it is having a shade of pink you can see so there are many variations in and geranium uh, this is another kind of pink I think you will understand the difference between both the pinks and this this is not purely red it is uh, having it is not pure red dark red it is light red so or pinkish red you can see so geraniums what kind of soil do geranium want at first let's come to that point Geranium loves well drained soil. So, for that, what you have to do, you can take 40% of uh, garden soil, 20% of sand, and 40% of any organic compost. Any organic compost you can take. That will make your soil light and uh, uh, the drainage system will also be good. Geraniums do not like full, uh, all the uh, moisture uh, to evaporate from the soil. So you do not add much of the sand to any of your plant. Many of them say uh, to add a good amount of sand or more than uh, sufficient. So what it will do, what sand will do, it will make your soil very much porous. So each and every uh, means time you will water the plant. All the water will drain out. No water will be retained in the pot. So that is also dangerous for the plant. That will uh, make a shortage of the uh, water. So that will also, in that situation also, you will not get good flowers. So that was, uh, that is the reason. So this was the uh, soil mixture I have already told. 40% garden soil 20% sand and 40% of any organic compost As actually I make that super proportion of soil only and you can see good flowers are there in my plants uh, and in this uh, pot I want to sh tell you that I have cut many of the stalks these are left late blooms uh, before that uh, before this this also many flower came and I have cut I will come to that point uh, why I have cut so next come to the what I have told uh, do not if you are using the potting mix as I have told uh, you can water every alternate thing that will be sufficient uh, you have to, and you have to check for first if it is uh, cloudy weather then the water may not evaporate fully but if it is uh, full sunlight it will evaporate and I, I had given my plants water every alternate thing so for the third part is sunlight full sunlight and but in this hot weather of march i have kept them in partial shade 
now you are seeing this in shade but after some time it will be in full sunlight so that is the proportion other than this very easy to uh, grow and care plant time to time liquid fertilizer is also applicable you can add if you don't add that will not be very much uh, affected but effect that will not affect the flowering but it, you will get more flowers if you uh, add the uh, liquid fertilizer because the plant will get nutrients time to time i prefer really easy gardening and very uh, cheap and uh, such uh, gardening uh, which all of us can do because i myself do not get time to see look after my plants uh, but i take care as much as required so you will see very much dust in my plant because some days back i have already told you that there was a huge storm and due to that splattering of the uh, soil of the pot uh, took place and this uh, happened so that was the reason so you uh, that was the only care you have to take for geranium nothing other than this uh, very easy to grow and maintain plant and while leaving i want to show you this is the flower of diamorphotheca this is uh, dog flowers you can see still blooming uh, from very much longer period of time your calendula asters I want to show you this aster also see this beautiful and lovely color of aster and how many flowers are there in this single plant here are verbenas as well but I have to give water to them here is phlox here is sweet william so if you like my video please give my video a like and so sub please subscribe to my channel and if you have any question regarding any of the flowers uh, i have shown you can ask for geranium also and oh another tip for now what i am uh, because i was totally forgetting that what why i have uh, cut why i have cut uh, this plant, uh, stalk if you leave this stalk on the plant formation of seed will took place so what will happen all the energy of the plant will be stored will be uh, done to uh, make the produce the seed so no flowers no more flowers will be come will come that's the reason we uh, used to deadhead petunia and many more same case for geranium also you can see oh you can see these petunia seeds have forgotten to deadhead and this is how it had opened i am showing you if i open you can see the seeds of petunia very very minute seeds of petunia so geranium do not have such minute seed but they are feathery like uh, seeds uh, so that the reason is same for all the plants uh, more or less uh, that uh, the plant will give energy to the produce seeds not flowers so to take more flowers we need to dead all the dead flowers and now as it is uh, if you want seeds from now on you can stop deadheading but you will not get flowers uh, because now it is the end of the season and it is the time for seed collection so you can see many of my petunia seeds although i am not collecting this year i will buy good uh, imported quality next year so but still see the beautiful color of petunia so this was all for today i will see you in my next video thank you before going i also wanted to show you this um, beautiful dianthus see the purple color of dianthus so okay bye bye